Hello beautiful Aries friends, how are you today? My name is Donna Wilder Hart and this is my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome. Welcome to all new visitors, cross watchers, watchers, and subscribers. Thanks for supporting me for this past year. Your energy has been so beautiful. Your comments have been so insightful. Thank you so much for the journey with you. We're going to get started here, Aries, and see what the energy is and the love messages are. For those of you who may become interested in a personal reading, uh, all the information is in the description box below. For those of you new to tarot, this is like a buffet table. Take what is yours. Not all of it will be for you, so leave the rest behind. I highly recommend you look at your moon your sun, excuse me, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. So let's look and see what is in store for Aries. Aries, Aries. Beautiful energy for Aries, please. Spirit, give us a message. Aries needs to receive. Look at this. A woman holding a coin. Aries, what are you up to? I love it. You're one of the most competent signs in the zodiac. Employers love you, and it looks like you are coming into some money or whatever it is that you value. Look at this, caring connections. Okay. Aries, you have really had quite the past six months with Mars in your sign. All right, let's see what the journey is that Spirit is calling for you uh, to experience at this time. What is the message for Aries? What does Spirit want to convey to Aries in terms of their journey in love? Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Great. Okay. That is beautiful energy. So it all is not as it appears on the surface. There's a lot underneath. There's a, tr a hidden treasure. And uncovering that treasure is your job or your, your calling from spirit this week. Okay. So let's see what we have here. As everyone knows who watches till routinely, uh, energies can be vice versa. Your energy, hanged man, oh, you're waiting to make a decision. Hanged man says that you're just hanging out, looking at things from a different perspective, staying calm, cool, and collected. Judgment card says that you are going to be called upon in the near future to make a decision. The world card says that you are closing out a very successful cycle in your life, something that has been good, but it's time to move on to something even better, ascending to a higher level in the happiness that you have in your life. Uncovering treasures, I like it. Okay, something you don't see is coming into fruition right now. Six of coins, you are definitely choosing only that which gives you an equal value to that which you give. This is all about having a job. If you have an employer, it looks as though you're focused on money, that you want equal rep reciprocity. I don't know why it was having a hard time saying that. Okay. We also have the energy of the emperor here. That is your energy, Aries. You are being strategic. You are being smart. You are absolutely going after what you want most in life. The queen of pentacles energy. So for many of you, you want stability in relationship. You want something to show for all your hard work. You most, many of you are hoping to have a child or if you're older, you're hoping to have a grandchild. Let's see what we have here coming in for the energy around you. Virgo energy. Some of you I feel may be leaving a job and beginning another job. The seven of wands, you're, you're really standing up for yourself. You are not letting anyone take advantage of you right now. That seven of wands energy is like, hey, I count too. You know, you're letting everybody, you're standing your ground. I like it. It's good, good energy. It's Leo energy. Seven of swords, you're watching somebody online. You're watching what they do. You're paying close attention to somebody around you right now. Two of coins. Again, you're in this energy of needing to make a decision. You're juggling two ideas or two people or two plans. 
you know, here you are, you are manifesting this beautiful relationship. You're digging more deeply into what looks like a current love connection. So the energy is quite good, but you're, you very much are bent on getting what you want. You want a successful love relationship that fulfills your needs and you're not going to settle for less. Okay, so we have three cards that came out. We have Justice card, okay. If somebody isn't fair to you, you are not having it. The King of Cups energy, you're gonna hold back on telling people that you love them. You're gonna take a very detached, aloof attitude. You know, typically Aries, you're very warm, you're very vibrant. When we get the Scorpio King, Scorpio is also another sign ruled by the planet Mars. It's a co-ruler of Scorpio. And typically you love very deeply and you do love very deeply currently, but you're not really going to talk about it a lot. Right now, you have to defend your turf with somebody who has not really been equal, have, has not treated you equally in a relationship. This has made you very upset or very angry. You feel always as though you're not the number one priority. I think the relationship is pretty good overall. I think that there is really deep love. I mean, you know, we're being told that by spirit that you are in a very good love relationship, but it needs some help. It needs a little bit of um, first aid, so to speak because this page of swords is letting you know that you know not quite everything is up front not quite everything is straightforward you feel like you have to defend yourself you feel as though you have to speak up about being treated unfairly okay justice is blind you are using your intuition beautiful energy of the high priestess. It is really important that the high priestess energy is a very kind, loving, nurturing energy, but you do have to be careful of the stories you tell yourself. You do have a divine partner. When we have the lover's card, we have a soulmate, and the unfortunate truth about a soulmate energy is that this person is here to teach you something about love that's a little uncomfortable. So the Page of Swords tells us that this is going to be a maturing in love, that you're also going to, you're going to be challenged to choose someone who brings equal energy to the table. So I like the fact that we have kings, we only have one page. Both of you in your relationship are capable of having a deeply loving, fulfilling relationship. So let's see what the, what the issues are this week. The hanged man, what is it that you're holding back on? What is it that you've decided not to make a decision about at this time? What is hanging in midair for our Aries friends? Ooh, you don't know whether you're going to be single. The Knight of Wands energy says that right now you are undecided about letting somebody go. Judgment card on top of judgment card. There's a part of you that just wants to play and have fun. You're not completely sold on a relationship that you're in currently. You may release this person to find something more fulfilling in love. For some of you, we, I see a path diverging. Some of you are going to opt to stay in this relationship and some of you are going to let it go probably within the next two months. Okay, what about equal give and take? Tell us something about equal give and take. You don't feel as though you've received it. Most of you or many of you will simply move away from a relationship that you've had we see the release, we see moving away from a committed relationship in which you're deciding whether you want more freedom to have fun and seek something new. The emperor energy is always Mars energy. It's taking action to manifest. So we know that you have love right now, but you're trying to decide whether this love is the love for you is what it looks like. Is this person the one for you? Two of coins, juggling two people. There's a part of you that wants to let this person go on their way. And you look at juggling two. You want to win. You want to have a win in love. 
You want to have someone who recognizes you, who gives you your due, who declares you in public, who gives you that space right on top of the podium. You know, it's like being um, winning the gold medal. You don't want to be second best. You're not going to take it. You're not going to allow anybody to juggle you. You are not having it. You are in for the win. Why is the Queen of Pentacles energy here? That really indicates that you'll do the work. But unless you get, again, equal, you want equal, you want equal give and take, you haven't gotten it. You know, you've done the work, you're questioning whether you'll ever get it. Will this person do the work? Will they be fair to you? It's really a burning question. We have it twice. Why is a justice card here on the lower level? Five of Wands, there's been a lot of egocentric fighting, a lot of energy of, you know, here we go. We have the Five of Wands fighting over things that actually are ego-driven. It's setting the house on fire, so to speak, emotionally. Six of, wins, you, six of Wands, you're in for the win. And Seven of Wands, you're, it's sort of like, damn straight, I'm going to get what I want or else that's it. Okay. So the Six of Pentacles, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles shows that you are willing to do the work, but you have not gotten results that you wanted. You are unhappy. You are dissatisfied. What's the Seven of Wands? Why is it here? Queen of Swords. There we go. Libra energy, Libra energy, Libra energy. Judgment. You know, when we look at justice and judgment, you may release something that you feel that you've been very, you've loved somebody very deeply and you feel as though they just have not given enough back. This person, for some of you, I actually think you're being asked to, to move, but I'm not seeing you with this person. So whatever move you make may not be with your significant other. It may be away from them again woman holding a coin. What this means is very important to this. As I do, as I look at this reading, you want something of value. You want somebody who values you. You want equal give and take six of coins. You want equality, the justice card. You want a caring connection, not some BS kind of fighting. You want someone who's going to be honest and straightforward with you. And right now this energy is saying that this person is a little bit sneaky. You know, you feel as though you have to protect yourself. You want the sun card. You want somebody who absolutely declares everything. They declare their love. They sing it to the world, that there's happiness, that there's joy. And I don't see that in this relationship. I'm not seeing sort of a lighthearted energy. I get this relationship just feels cool and aloof. It's the opposite of the sun. So we have the King of Cups. This is a person who doesn't really tell you that they love you. Oh man, Devil card energy. The Devil energy is being sneaky and lying. The Hermit card, feel, you feel alone in this relationship. For some, this would be a very good relationship, but I don't think it is for you, Aries. You just feel as though there's too much that's hidden beneath the surface. This person's very aloof. You're aloof with them now. You're unhappy. Eight of Swords, you, you don't know what to do about it. You're not really ready to leave the relationship. You really aren't, that's what the Eight of Swords says. You want to really become empowered. You want to really beef up your ability to earn money and take care of yourself. There's a part of you that feels as though, again, we get this Virgo energy. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You you have a really strong urge to leave, to walk away, to find your own security, to take a leap of faith and to end this relationship. Wow. So whatever's happening here. Yep, Eight of Cups walking away. This is a soulmate, but you're really tired of this journey with this particular soulmate. You intuitively know that this relationship is protected because we have a guardian angel here in this soul with a soulmate. Look at the guardian angel is between the two lovers. The lovers is a soulmate card. Intellectually, you're trying to convince yourself that this person is for you, but intuitively, let's see what your intuition is telling you. Three of swords. 
your intuition is telling you that the le the lesson to be learned in this soulmate connection is that this person doesn't give enough and that their history in relationship speaks to something that's being repeated with you. You feel like you're in a broken you feel like you have a broken heart that this person just never ever gives you a public declaration of really being in love with you. So like, for instance, on their Facebook, you would not be their significant other even if you've lived with each other for three years. They haven't claimed you. This person has not claimed you. They have, you know, and oh, wow, okay. So Aries, whatever decision you're making, I believe that, you know, what we're seeing here is that you will have happiness and love after a period of really feeling as though this person's immature. So whatever you do, whatever decision you make, Aries, you will do the right thing. You will be divinely protected. And if you do walk away from this relationship, you will be, you will find within a very short period of time something that is really, you know, if this person doesn't open up, they may, for some of you, they may, they may uncover this gift of love. But if they don't, you're still going to find your buried treasure, your hidden treasure, you're finding it. This is the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is balance. You will have the connection that you want. So the only question for you right now is the strategy of how you're going to get it. So Aries, it looks very successful on long-term basis. With By June, I feel as that you're going to be very content so you can either fight within this relationship for those of you who are going to make that decision. It looks as though you will manage to get there. Either way, it looks like a win in terms of long-term love. But for some of you, you're going to leave some really toxic energy behind. So I'm happy for your outcome. It looks testy. I think you've had a bit of a rough time of it. But you guys are going to gonna get some energy and some advice from the Moonology deck for you. The moon is ruling the day. Your intuition will tell you what's possible and what's not. You may stay for a while and then leave. You may strategize this. I think that you will. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Hold your vision. Do not give up on the dream of what you want. And it's time to breathe out. Your hard work is paying off. Communication is the key. So that is going to be the key of making this work. And if it doesn't, you're leaving it behind. So you know you're loved, but this person needs to get better. They need to get a lot better at showing it. Aries, sending you love from Chicago. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Thanks, Aries. Bye-bye.